This is Earl Martin here at the Wisconsin State Youth Conference, and I believe we're in our 32nd year, 32, 33 uh, annual youth conference here in Watertown, Wisconsin, hosted by Calvary Baptist Church. And this year's theme is impact and how the gospel should impact our life on a daily basis. And so we're going to be asking uh, some of the young people that are here today what, uh, what they think of the conference and find out how the Lord is impacting their life. So here we go. Hi, do you mind if we just ask a couple questions? Sure. All right, first of all, where are you guys from? Toma. Toma. I've been to Toma. Awesome. Toma Baptist Church? Yeah. Pastor Ron Tobin? Yes, sir. Cool. So let me ask you this. Is this the first time you've been to youth conference? No, this is my fifth year. Fifth year. Awesome. What is your favorite thing about youth conference? Besides lunch, the sermons, I think. I think. Besides lunch, the sermons. You're getting fed twice then, physically and spiritually. Awesome. Has there been any? Now, I didn't get a chance to catch the second message, so I can't compare the two, but so far, do you have a favorite of the messages? I think the first one was my favorite. Okay, I think you? I like both of them. You liked them both. Was there anything that was that just impact your spiritual life in any of those messages? One thing that, like, popped out? Um, it really makes me want to commit to God more because, you know, he really put it out there for me, and now I can understand it more, I guess. So... Same thing with Bethan. I mean, some people think he's not there, but when you really look for him, he's actually there, and you just have to put your faith in him and trust in him. And even though you're going through hard times, he's always there for you. Oh. It really made me think about it. Awesome. Well, great. Well, then this has been a good good experience for you. We're glad you're here, and we hope you can come back for the next five years. <laughs> All righty. See you later. Let me, I just got to ask you a question. How, how was that cookie? It's absolutely delicious. Well, and what kind of cookie is that? A chocolate chip cook. That's a chocolate chip cookie. Is this your first time at the uh, the conference? No. How many times have you been here? Two or three times. What is the one thing that you like most about coming to youth conference? All the down to earth preaching. Preaching. Okay. In the two messages so far, has there been anything that's really impacted you? <laughs> well, I have a lot of. I go to public school, so I, I want to go back and help them. All right, great. Hey, we're here with PR, Pastor Randy, uh, up at uh, Camp Chatech. I think this is your first time here at the uh, youth conference. <laughs> uh, no, I've been here a couple times before. <laughs> All right, let me just ask you, uh, when, when you, you, did you, you didn't start this, though, did you? No, it started five years before I came as youth pastor. And so in all the years that you did it, though, what do you think this is to the young person? I mean, why, why do something like this? Um, I love the theme this year, Impact, and the goal is to impact lives and uh, let them hear the gospel and let the, the gospel impact their life for Jesus Christ. What about as a guy coming down here sponsoring your camp, how, how does that affect Camp Chatech, being able to come here? We are thrilled to see the number of kids that come to camp and then they're here at the conference. They love coming by the booth. They love talking to my program director. Just reminiscing with their camp ideas is a lot of fun. And just ate lunch with about 10 kids and just had a great time talking about camp. All right. Well, we're glad to have you here as well as everyone else. And uh, this guy, he is like a dinosaur of of the youth conference back when it was called the Youth Conclave. Yeah, Youth Conclave. All right. Well, we're glad to have PR with us. Hey, you guys, you're on camera, man. It's too late. So I just want to find out. We're just trying to find out. What, uh, what youth groups are thinking about uh, this year's youth conference? What's one thing that you like so far? Anything? I've enjoyed the speaker. He's been great. He's been awesome. And uh, I think it's all just put together really well. All right. How about you ladies? The preacher's been good. And how about the food? <laughs> Food's okay, huh? I haven't eaten yet. So, What's that? Homemade's better. Homemade's better. Actually, pizza's better for me, but I'll take the chicken. Not a big chicken pick. Okay. All right. Let me ask you this. Uh, the, the theme, impact. Is there one thing so far in the two messages that have popped in that area of impact in your life? I think it's really good that in this world we need somebody to stand up and make an impact. And um, just for even in Christian groups, the, the Christian um, Baptist is just sliding to where we're not making an impact that we need to be. And the theme, I just think, is really good. Great. Well, what do you think teens can do, though, to impact their world? I, I would say that the teens are the next generation, and that wherever the teens are going is where the future wor uh, world could go, and the, the Christians could have an impact on that. Great. Of the two messages so far, though, what's been your favorite? 
The first one. The first one. And what was it about the first one? I don't know. It was just funny. Oh, funny. Okay. That was a funnier one. That's all right. I like funny, too. I didn't ask you this. Where are you from? New Mexico. Excuse me? New Mexico. They have come the furthest from New Mexico. Oh, my word. Really, what are you guys here for? Uh, we're visiting some family and another conference over in Milwaukee. Oh, man, glad you guys could come all the way from New Mexico. I wish you'd have brought some form weather. I am, I am Mr. Reed. Oh, you know us. We're the Foresters. Oh, cool. Awesome. Well, you, yeah, I, I can't, I'm sorry. I can't remember everybody. But, yes, I am Mr. Reed. I, I wish I remembered everybody I met. But, anyway, thanks, you guys. Have a great day. You're Dustin, and this is your first time here? All right. Uh, where are you from? Toma. Toma. Man, this is the second person we've talked from Toma then. Cool. So what do you think of the youth conference so far? I like it. What's the one or two thing you like most? The preaching is really funny. Good. What's your name? Uh, Topher Dungan. And you're from? Uh, Appleton, Wisconsin. Appleton. Great. First Appleton guy. How many times have you been to the uh, youth conference here? Oh, this is my first time ever. First time. Yeah. Cool. What do you think so far? Um, It's pretty like... It makes me like look at what I do and makes me think about stuff, you know, how like I can be a better person, and it's just really, really cool. Isn't it? It's amazing how God placed us here to do His work. Yeah, I mean, He actually wants to use you in some way to do His work. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what 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 year are you in school? I'm a freshman in high school. Freshman in high school. So, um, what what are some of the things that uh, you might think the Lord is going to use you for in the future. Do you have any idea yet? No, I don't have a clue. I'm I'm not really close with church until like, and then my friend just was like, oh, hey, I'm going to this thing. You want to come? And I was like, okay, sure. I'll give it a try. And so I think, I don't know. I'll find out eventually. All right. Well, great, man. I, I mean, I tell you what, it takes one person and your friend obviously had a, uh, enough. Uh, he cared enough for you to want to invite you to come down. And that's all it takes. Who knows? Maybe uh, you'll learn more about God and what he does have planned for your life. He wants to impact you, man. All right. Well, great. Great you could come from Appleton. So we'll talk to you later. Anybody else want to get in here? All right. What's your name, buddy? David. David from? Appleton, Wisconsin. Hi, from Appleton as well. Cool. All these guys. Are you the one who invited him? Yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, uh, how do you guys know each other? Um, he lives about a block away from me. So, like... Well, when I was homeschooled, he was still going to public school, so he was one of my friends in the area. So that was it was fun. Well, cool. Now, is this your first time? No, this is actually my second time. I came once when I was in sixth or seventh grade. I don't remember. It's been a while ago, but yeah, I have come before. What do you like about the uh, Wisconsin State Youth Conference? Um, I really enjoy challenges, like in in messages, like um, at church. Uh, it's it's more of like a teaching process, which I which I enjoy. But like when I come here, it's it's good to get some refreshment. You know what I mean? Like indifference. You know, like a little bit of something new. What do you think of the theme this year? Impact. Um, I think it's something that most Christians really really push down into a corner. Like you know they like they either think that like they're doing enough of what they should be or like. Um, they just like disregard it like oh I'm not enough to make an impact anyways I feel it's really it's something that all Christians really really need to understand deeply because um, if Christ was willing to die for us to so we could go to heaven we should be willing to give of ourselves to go and find other people Man, that's great well hey it seems like you have uh, already started to apply some of the things you've learned and David correct yeah. glad to have you with us and hope to see you in the Thank future you. glad you could bring your friend This is Josh. He is with Amazing Grace Baptist Camp in Kansas, correct? That's right, Ottawa, Kansas. All right, and, and uh, this is your first time at the Wisconsin State Youth Conference? Uh, this will be my third time, actually. Oh, okay, third time, and but your first with the camp. Correct, that's right. All right, what do you think of a, a youth conference like this? And I'm, I'm sure you've been to several things of this nature. How is this important in the lives of a church or in the lives of a young person? Well, the Bible is very clear that the, the word will not return void, and uh, God has chosen to manifest his word through preaching, Titus 1, 3 says. So, with the manifestation of the word being preached, it will never return void. 
All right, very good. Well, we're so glad you could be here with us, and we hope uh, maybe some of the some of the young people will find their way to Amazing Grace Baptist Camp. That's right, Amazing Grace Baptist yeah, Camp. Send them our way. All right. You guys use sponsors for yes. where are you? Where are you all from? Uh, Fellowship. Fellowship. Fellowship Baptist, right across. The okay. Town. And is this your first time to the uh, Wisconsin State Youth Camp? Yes. Conference? Yes. What do you think so far? Very good. Um, definitely brings the heat with the preaching and uh, gets down to real real life issues that much of our youth face today. What do you think of the theme impact? I think it's great because uh, um, whether you're having an impact uh, for the Lord or for um, the world, you're having an impact either way. There's no just dead weight. It's uh, There's no such thing as neutrality. You're, you're either going one way or the other. So it's good that we're focusing on having the right impact. All right. Well, I, you know, one last thing. I, I You guys just had your own special luncheon, right? Mm -hmm. And did they have a? Did they have some speaker in there as well? Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Tim Miller, uh, he's soon to be Doctor Tim Miller. Uh, he he talked about why uh, the youth are leaving the church today, and uh, good way good ways to address that and to uh, to uh, combat that issue. We're here with Pastor Loggins, pastor of Calvary Baptist Church. Here, just wanted to get your thoughts on the the day so far. It's been a great day. Praise the Lord. Good preaching. Great singing. Kids have a great attitude. What do you think of the theme impact and how it affects our young people? Well, it does, uh, it, it does impact our young people because they're making an impact for Christ, or we want them to. Has there been one thing that's been really powerful so far that you could tell that for the kids? Well, I think his first message where he talked about the fact of one man making a difference, I think that really grabbed a hold of their hearts. They were, they were right in tune on that one. All right. Thanks, Pastor, for your time. Talk right now. I'm, I'm on the panel, and I'm obviously very, extremely important. And so they need me because I'm 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 basically the Bible answer man he's so at humble. this conference. He's so humble. Humility, yeah. I would put as my first, second, and third greatest qualities. And he's Thank written you. a book on it. I have. How he attained it. That's right. And I've also written a, a book about the ten greatest soul winners and how I reached the other nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, we've got some our, all Maranatha students, right? Um, so you're just giving of your time to work at the youth conference this year? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Actually, we we all did it last year as well. Um, so I'm actually in the youth group, and then they were roommates, so they helped me. Mm-hmm. 